In Lesson 4.3, the example which do teens prefer, Facebook or Twitter, we're going to utilize the general edition rule. In 2014, a survey suggests that 71% of users of teenage, excuse me, 71% of US teenagers use Facebook, 33% use Twitter, and 15% do both. Suppose we select a US teenager at random. What's the probability that the student uses Facebook or Twitter? So when I read this example, what I notice is that I'm given three probabilities, and I'm asked for the probability that a student uses Facebook or Twitter. When I see that word or, I know that I'm going to want to use what we call the general addition rule. To use this rule, you need to have two events, A and B, and to figure out the probability of A or B, we figure out the probability of A, add that to the probability of B, and then we subtract off the probability of A and B, or both of them occurring at the same time. So using the context of this question, F is those who use Facebook, so the probability of F is 0.71. We get that from up here. T can represent those who use Twitter, so the probability a student uses Twitter is 0.33. And then this 15% who do both, that would be the probability of F and T. So plugging these into the general addition rule, I have the probability of using Facebook or Twitter. is the probability of Facebook plus the probability of Twitter minus the probability of a student using both. Plugging in our three probabilities that were given, we end with a final answer of 0.89. If you'd like more practice with the general addition rule, try exercise 5 at the end of this section.